Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time it's the Massive Biter Sarkasukas from Mattel's Jurassic World Primal Attack line. As you can see, the packaging is really awesome, cool as always, it's got the awesome background and all the other stuff in the front. Looks a lot better than Dino Rivals packaging. And on the back, you know, same old stuff, you know, the artwork of the figure and the action features, and then the other um, figures in the assortment. And there's the Tarbosaurus, which I might be getting. So let's waste no time and get the Sarkasukas out of his packaging. Now here is the Sarkasugus out of the packaging, and I have to say, this figure is just amazing. Everything about it, from the detail to the colors, is just awesome. I think it actually looks a lot better than some of the other um, figures in the line, like the Cryolophosaurus. Now let's take a look at the detailing as always. Just by looking at the head sculpt, you can already uh, see a lot of details right here. See the nicely sculpted teeth, and then the um, bulbous now, which is uh, what Sarkasugas is known for. And of course, you got all of the one wonderful sculpted scales across the body. See the nice details on the legs right here. See the osteoderms right here? Fairly accurate to the real Sarkasugas. Also pretty spiky as well. Also, the tail should be a bit more flat, because, you know, uh, crocodilians did have, you know, flat tails to help them propel through the water. And then the underbelly, um, mostly smooth detailing right here. And on the, on the other side, uh, of course, you got, you know, the same amount of detailing here. So, yeah, that's it for the detailing. For the articulation, of course, you can move, you know, the arms and the legs. They're on a ball joint. So, yeah, that makes four points of articulation. Well, five if you want to count um, the tail for the gimmick, which I'll get into right now. Of course, the massive biter figures are tail active articulation. Well, most of the primal attack figures are on tail activated articulation. So you move the head from side to side. Uh, he moves his head, of course. And then the button right here, he chomps his uh, massive jaws. The action fe feature is actually pretty smooth, actually. Not sure if it's durable, though. But yeah, I really like this chomping action here. He, you know, he can you know, move his head side to side, bite down. Here is it, and here it is from the other side. So yeah, that's it for the articulation and gimmick. Now, for the paint job, I actually quite like it. It looks pretty uh, realistic. This isn't exactly how I would color a Sargasugas, but, you know, like I said, it's pretty um, natural looking. This looks like something that will be swimming in a swamp. Now, for the aesthetics of this figure. For a Jurassic World toy, I actually think it looks pretty cool and realistic. Like I said, because, you know, of the immense amount of detailing, as well as the paint job. And I think the only issue with this figure is, you know, the eye. The eye doesn't really look, you know, super realistic. It's more on the cartoony side. But besides that, this is a pretty um, nice looking figure. Now let's start with the comparisons. First, I'll compare the Sargasugas next to the other Primal Attack figures I have so far, which is uh, Basic Spinosaurus, as well as Ornithalestes and Colovasaurus. As you can see, I'd say they're all quite compatible with each other. Here we have all of these Sargasugas toys, as you can see it's only a handful of them. And um, my favorite is probably still the Safari one, but uh, this Mattel one is probably my second favorite. And of course, we can't forget to compare the reviewed figure next to the Collecting Minis of Actinus. Well there you have it guys, this is my review on the Mattel Jurassic World Primal Attack Massive Biters Sargasugas. And yes, I highly recommend you guys pick up this figure. I think this could be my favorite, or at least one of my favorites. So yeah, if you guys want this figure, um, you can check Target. Target began stalking the Massive Biters and Sound Strikes. I got mines on Amazon, you know, during the short amount of time they were available. And luckily it came in two weeks. So yeah, if I had to give this figure a rating, I'm probably going to have to say an 8.5 out of 10. I just wish the action feature felt a bit more durable. And also, I just wish the tail was more crocodilian-like. But other than that, this is a fantastic figure. So, if you guys like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.